This is the moment Ukrainian soldiers bomb Russian targets with a powerful howitzer. The 59th Motorized Brigade, a formation of the Ukrainian ground forces named after Yakov Danziuk, said they carried out their attack perfectly. The Ukrainian brigade said on June 29th, gunners of the 59th Separate Motorized Infantry Brigade named after Yakov Danziuk did their job perfectly. The brigade added, one enemy mortar unit less. In the footage, Ukrainian troops are seen using a powerful howitzer to blast Russian targets in a rural area. Russia invaded Ukraine on February 24 in what the Kremlin is still calling a special military operation. Today marks the 126th day of the invasion. The general staff of the armed forces of Ukraine reported that between February 24 and June 29, Russia had lost about 35,450 personnel, 1,572 tanks, 3,720 armored combat vehicles, 781 artillery units, 246 multiple launch rocket systems, 103 air defense systems, 217 warplanes, 185 helicopters, 640 drones, 142 cruise missiles, 14 warships, 2,598 motor vehicles and fuel tankers, and 61 units of special equipment. Turkey has agreed to support Finland and Sweden's NATO membership after having initially opposed the country's bids to join the military alliance. Turkish President Recep Tayyip Erdogan had met with Finland's President Sauli Niinistö and Swedish Prime Minister Magdalena Andersson at the NATO summit in Madrid. Jens Stoltenberg, the NATO Secretary General, said, I am pleased to announce that we now have an agreement that paves the way for Finland and Sweden to join NATO. President Joe Biden congratulated the three countries, saying, Congratulations to Finland, Sweden, and Turkey on signing a trilateral memorandum, a crucial step towards a NATO invite to Finland and Sweden, which will strengthen our alliance and bolster our collective security, and a great way to begin this summit. The Russian strike on a shopping mall in the central Ukrainian city of Kremenchuk has been described by Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky as one of the most brazen terrorist acts in European history. Over 1,000 people are said to have been inside the building when it was hit by missiles. The death toll has risen to 18 people confirmed dead, with another 59 injured and 25 being treated in hospital. Some 36 people are still unaccounted for. President Zelensky has urged the United Nations to visit the site and has demanded that Russia be expelled as a permanent member of the UN Security Council, accusing the country of having become a terrorist state. Russia claimed on Tuesday, June 28, that it had hit a nearby weapons depot, with the explosion sparking the shopping mall blaze. NATO is planning to boost its quick reaction forces from 40,000 troops to over 300,000 troops.